everyone. Uh, this is Sarah Barker, founder of Connect Our Elders. Uh, this is actually the very first time that I have done this uh, without a guest. And so I figured that I would just start by um, sharing an experience that I had yesterday. Um, I was meeting with an elderly couple and what was really moving about the situation, I mean, so the gentleman has pretty advanced dementia um, and the wife had recently um, actually been hit by a car. So she, she was using a walker and one is 93, the other is 97. Um, the gentleman is a, a World War II veteran that had stormed the beaches of Normandy. And um, at any rate, we're sitting there, the gentleman's in his chair, he's watching TV and I'm consulting with the wife on her current situation and what sorts of resources might be able to um, aid their situation. Um, and some questions that I always ask when I'm meeting um, couples that are still together is of course, you know, how long have you been married? And it turns out this couple had been married for 70 one years, which just warms my heart. It moves me. And so I always ask the question, well, what's the secret? And this lady being the firecracker that she is said, well, darling, you know, you just got to get up every day and make the choice. And so I thought that was pretty profound. Um, and then you know, he, he gets, I wouldn't say he got agitated, but he, he got up and he decided he wanted to go upstairs. It's a, it's a two story home. He wanted to brush his teeth and then it turned out he wanted to shower. But of course, you know, we had to redirect this gentleman. And so that's what we did. And I, I was helping out in the situation and I thanked him. And so even though he has dementia, he became lucid in that moment. And I said, you know, thank you, sir. For, for your service, for what you did. Um, now remember this gentleman, World War II veteran, the greatest generation stormed the beaches of Normandy. And he looked me straight in the eyes and said, it was nothing, don't worry about it. And I just, I, I was stunned, stunned at that, that level of humility. And so anyway, we, we get the gentleman back down and, and settled. And the wife mentioned to me, you know, this, this is what I'm doing all day long you know, getting him up the stairs, getting him down, getting him up from the chair, you know, assisting with the toileting and the bathing and, and all of the things that she's having to do at her age at 93 years old, being the family caregiver and she's holding it together. But I thought to myself in that moment, wow, I'm just peeking in one moment in her day, seven days a week of what she is struggling with as a family caregiver. And I thought to myself, holy smokes, how are these elderly family caregivers doing this? Well, the main message I, I wanted to put out today was that one, I was moved by my interaction um, with this World War II veteran um, it, it's such a privilege to be able to, you know, be in contact with them, um, but also to send the message out to all of my fellow elder care professionals that what you guys are doing on a daily basis is so important. And I know, you know, being in the elder care space, working for, for home care companies and hospice companies, you know, the job can get stressful. You know, you, you have to keep a certain level of activity. And then, of course, you're dealing with, you know, family dynamics and situations or, you know, service issues. But I, I would just urge all of my fellow elder care professionals to keep in mind that these families need us. And in the work that you guys are doing is of utmost importance. You guys are really making a difference in these families' lives. So I hope you guys have a great day. Um, Sarah Barker would connect our elders. Have a blessed day. Bye.